When was the last time we won three games in a week? Swear it never ever happens. Just what we needed after yesterday, wasn't it? Um, with the Michael Beale stuff, with the shambles with Newcastle's ticket allocation thing, and the apparently not wanting to do a flag display to some extent against them. Um, we lost that game simply because of a stupid penalty that we didn't have to give away. Um, and I know there's going to be people in the comments going, well, this is a young team, what do you expect? Well, to not mess around at the back. Um, I know that we're a young team, but we've, we've, a lot of these players have played enough games for me to should be able to know not to do stuff like that. And at the end of the day, it came from us trying to be clever at the back and we were forced and, and we were forced into giving away the penalty, basically. And from Bristol City's point of view, very, very good pressing in that regard. But again, we just make it so hard for ourselves when we really don't need to do it. Um, a lot of the stuff... We, essentially, the winning goal today, in a lot of ways, was just self-inflicted because we decided to be clever little fancy buggers at the back instead of just like lumping the ball clear. I know we have a way of playing, and I, and I like the fact that we do have a way of playing, but it doesn't mean you have to be tippy-tappy around all over the place at the back. Just make, Just get rid of it. Just get rid of the ball. Um, but yeah, that's just annoyed. The first half, I'd say Bristol City did deserve to win, uh, deserve to be in the lead because I thought they probably wanted it a little bit more than we did. Not saying we didn't try, but I didn't think we wanted it enough as what as what they did. Um, but then you look at the second half. I mean, you know, we 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 had the chances second half, you know, including the one from the from the corner where Luke O'Neill's header is basically going in the back of the net, and then of course their keeper turns into Superman and decides to go and save it on the line, um, which is just typical luck, isn't it? But same time, to be balanced either way, we also probably should have conceded another penalty in the first few minutes of the game. They had a chance um, where it was similar to Plymouth's second goal, if I remember rightly, and it basically the shot just hits the post. So, and obviously Conway dispatches the penalty really well, but again, it's just frustrating because we had the chances to get something from the game. And I know this is where you'll say that the goal-scoring striker, yes, it is an issue, but again, having not having a goal-scoring striker doesn't make us concede the penalty. It doesn't make us do silly things at the back. And I'm going to keep mentioning this on, if you don't like it, quite frankly, tough. You know, I'm going to keep mentioning it on here until people start to act, actually wake up and realise it. Um, but, yeah, you've got to be able to do both sides of the game. now. And it's so annoying that we can go from against Leeds, which was our best result of the season and best defensive performance, and then at, earlier on in this game, look defensively all over the place. Um... Yeah, it's annoying that we're probably back outside the top six now because Cardiff didn't bother getting anything against Hull. So, yeah, you know we've got we've got a run of games coming up before the Newcastle game. Where now you've got four games before then, and for me, yeah, you need we, we need to sort. By the way, we need to sort this away form out because this is not good enough. We haven't won away from home since Sheffield Wednesday at the back end of September, for goodness sake. Um, and the next away game is Hull. Can't see us winning there at the minute. Maybe I'll take a point at Hull and at Rotherham, and I don't care if this is going to go viral in a couple of weeks. Rotherham away. I'm sorry. If we do not win that game, I will be livid. I don't care that it's away from home. Throw at me whatever you want. That's a game for me we should be winning if we put the application and effort into it. Um, but the problem is you're going to keep putting pressure on your home form to keep to bail you out of it and try and get towards the top six. Whether you think the squad's good enough or not, that's up to you. In my opinion, I think today's an underachieving result, but you've got to give it to Bristol City. It's a massive win for them. Uh, yeah. And I'll, I'll I'll do a live stream later about the Michael Beale stuff or a video of some kind when it's officially announced, if it is. Um, but yeah, <laughs> not met with great reception on, online, certainly. Thanks very much, guys, for watching anyway. As you guys know, trying to get 5k subs. So if you're watching and you're not a regular subscriber and you think I've earned a sub from you, then hit the subscribe button. As Sean Milton says, absolutely free, doesn't cost a penny. And yeah, see you for Coventry, or probably for the inevitable Michael Beale appointment. Um... But yeah, need to beat Coventry now. No excuses in my opinion. See you all later. Love you a lot. Take care. And be respectful in the comments, remember. It shouldn't be hard for people. Take care.